Well, they say the devil is in the details, but for one artist, uh, there are no devils, just true delight. Joining us is one amazing artist, and as you can see, her work is on display here today. We have St. Louisan Emily Cross. She is here with us with Cross Cut Papers. Emily, I am just so amazed. Thanks Thank so much you. for being here with us today. It's my pleasure. Thank you for inviting of me. Of course. Tell us a little bit about your artwork. So um, I first discovered this was an artistic medium when I was halfway through college. I um, actually was studying printmaking, but my teacher took me to see the um, paper cut Haggadah, mm. which was an important piece of Jewish culture and of art history. And I was like, oh my God, wait, you can do this? Like, this is an artistic medium? <laughs> it's so beautiful. I was like, yeah, I'm doing this. <laughs> It's like, we're yeah. gonna make this happen. And I mean, all of this is made happen with an X-Acto knife. Yeah, I hand cut everything with an X-Acto. I use a standard number 11 blade, and I've actually discovered that a whetstone um, keeps my blades in proper working order very well. I mean, who knew? <laughs> and as you can see, I see a theme with a lot of your artwork. You're just a nature lover by heart. Yes, well, it kind of runs in the family. My father is also an artist, and his favorite subject is like nature scenes, river scenes. He just passed it on to you. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I've always loved the branches silhouetted against the sky. Oh, it's beautiful. And this is one right here. How gorgeous is that? And you actually create these cutouts with some of your own photos, right? Yes, I, um, I work entirely from my own photo references. I'll go out, I'll see what I think is the most gorgeous thing around, like uh, this one from the Botanical Gardens. How beautiful. Yeah. Oh my gosh, I am just amazed. How long does it take for you to complete one of these? It depends on the piece. I don't always start um, one and then finish it, uh, but for a piece like that, probably a couple of days. Wow. I am just amazed. I love that. And you brought in some items for us today. Walk us through what you brought in. Yeah, so I have um, an assortment of different sizes. I also am, uh, I am in handmade um, greeting cards, like birthday cards. They're all blank that. inside. Um, I started with trees, but I've kind of expanded to uh, cats, dogs, um, All the animal lovers out yes, there. Yes, <laughs> yes, and uh, holiday cards as well. Which I love these. This is the perfect way to support local, whether it's a holiday season or year-round. Go ahead and just purchase some of her cards, and you can use these inside of all of your birthday gifts, wedding gifts. I mean, Mother's Day and Father's Day has passed, but just a great way to just show love with some handcrafted art. What's one of your favorite pieces that you've ever done? I think that I have to say probably my pet portraits. Um, this is my cat, Schooner. I um, love this. Yeah. And um, my dog here, Popcorn. Popcorn is adorable. <laughs> yeah, she's a real cutie. She's a goof, but she is so sweet. Well, I am a fan of all of these, and this is beautiful. How did you, did you take a photo of this? So this is actually based on a design from Jugend magazine. It's a German um, Art Nouveau magazine. It was popular between World War I and World War II. It was the foremost Art Nouveau magazine in the world. So this design is based on a, um, an ink drawing from that magazine. It is beautiful. Thank you have you. inspired me today. We've just had so much inspiration of creativity and art and love. And if you are a nature lover that adores handcrafted items, you can support Emily Cross. Where can people find you, Emily? Um, I am on Instagram and I'm also on Etsy, um, both under Crosscut Papers. I also have several shows coming up in the surrounding area. Um, I'm applying for a few next month, but I know I have several upcoming in September. Well, awesome. Well, go ahead and mark your calendars. You can send her a quick message online via Etsy or on Instagram to figure out when those shows are. And again, support local, purchase some of her work, and just bless the St. Louis community with cross-cut papers. St. Louis Don't Go Anywhere will be right back in just a couple of minutes.